Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing the last edition of my summer house tour and this is the family room. I love decorating this space because it's got a lot of cozy vibes to it so I hope you guys enjoy this tour and let's get started. Alright so we are stepping into the family room from the upstairs. I am hoping that the lighting will be okay once I start turning on like the lights that we have in here it starts getting really yellow so I'm going to try and film as much as I can without turning those lights on but we are going to start in the corner over here all right so here we are and the first thing that is in this left hand corner is this huge bird cage that I featured in a home goods haul at the beginning of the summer and right in there is my wedding day bouquet and then it is sitting on top of this little cake stand um, it says love is sweet Matthew and Deanna and then it has our wedding date on there I didn't do too well in making sure that it was a good size for our cake so we didn't end up using it as a cake stand but I really really love how this looks with the like lantern or birdcage um, sitting on top of it with our wedding day bouquet and then going up from there we have this huge like shelf ledge which has a bunch of stuff on it. So I originally said when we moved in here that I would never want to keep this like ledge right here um, cluttered at all and I'm kind of starting to feel that it is looking a little bit cluttered. I'm pretty sure the autumn decor and Halloween decor will take up just as much space. So as much as I never thought that I would you know deal with like the cluttery look um, kind of just have to take advantage of the space. So right over here we have our little um, photo frame and little planter. The photo frame I found at Goodwill. The planter and the flowers that are inside both came from Michaels. And a lot of this stuff will be getting put away soon because it is very like summerish and springtime. So I wanted to make sure I filmed this before I started taking out all of the autumn decor because yeah, the majority of all of this stuff will be getting put away until next year. But then right on the side of that, we have some photos. Um, we have a Bath & Body Works candle and a Bath & Body Works candle sleeve. Three photos, and then on the side of here, I have another Bath & Body Works candle inside of a Walmart uh, candle sleeve. Then right on top of here, I have this little family um, canvas. This was found at Home Goods, And then I have a collection of family eight by 10 photos another like family canvas that I found at Walmart and then another canvas type of uh, wall decal um, and that was given to me by my sister-in-law. She found that at Home Goods or TJ Maxx I believe. And then below all of these 8x10s I have this little wicker basket that I found at Home Goods and inside of there I have all of our Instagram uh, photo books. I can't remember what the site is or the app that I use to create these, but I love these books. It's like a service and once you hit a certain number of photos uploaded to your Instagram account, they automatically send these out. So I will include the uh, app or web address that I use for these because highly recommend them. The quality is awesome and the price is really good as well. Right over here, I have this bookcase that we purchased from Target.com. I love the look of this. It's got like multi-grain wood colors. But right over here, I have this little trio like um, wine bottle collection that I found at the Target dollar spot at the beginning of the summer and I have some faux white roses in there. I have a little dish from Home Goods, I believe and then these little like glittery balls from Home Goods. I have my essential oils diffuser. Um, this is the first one that I purchased and I found it on Amazon and then I have this little like family um, sign my sister won this at a baby shower and she gave it to me and then i have this light um, i have a few of them they came in a set and they were from walmart and then down below here i have a few more like wicker baskets both of them were found at home goods this one has all of our family dvds i make these um quite a few of them as you can see and i just include all of our like family photos and videos on there so we have a little collection going on there. And then I have this lantern and um, battery lit candle from the Target Dollar Spot. 
And then inside of this wicker basket, I have all of my essential oil stuff. So even though we have diffusers throughout our house, this is where all of the oils and the books and the like little cup to fill up the water, um, this is where everything stays, just so that it's all in one place. And then down on this shelf, I have all of our family photos. So um, this one is my sister's box, I think. These are all of her photos. My mom gave them to me just to store them here. This one is all of our family, like any group family photo is in here. This one is my brother's box, and then this one is mine and Aiden's, and then I have some of Matt in here as well. And then right over here I have like um, anniversary books that I have made for Matt. I used to make these for every anniversary. Um, unfortunately I only got to year three, which really sucks. I would like to eventually continue on with that because those are a lot of fun to look back on. And then right over here we have all of our photo booth photos from our wedding. So I keep this out because when people come over that we haven't seen since the wedding, it's really fun to pull this out and um, talk about all of the crazy photos and messages that we got inside of there. All right, and then moving along throughout the room, we have this circular couch. This was found at Value City and it was on sale. Um, I'm not even sure why, nothing's wrong with it, but we did get a really, really good price on it. And I just have a huge collection of pillows on this. This thing is so comfortable, especially when it's filled with all the pillows. Back to this ledge, I have a huge collection of flowers that we use um, at each of the tables for like the centerpieces. I just stuck a ton of them right in there. And so I turned another light on, but here is a very large collection of flowers. I have a ton in there. I love how this turned out. And they are all inside of this MND vase, which I found on Etsy. And then right on the side of that, I have our little card um, treasure box. This is where all of the cards from the wedding were. And I believe, yeah, all of them still are. So we just keep them right in there. Here we have the window to our backyard. And then I have this succulent planter that we got as a wedding gift. It came from Target, it was on our registry. And then I have this little tricycle with um, some flowers out of it. The tricycle I found at, at home. And then the flowers I found on sale at Target. And below that ledge, um, we have this little like end table. Uh, it's like one of those like little folding tables. And this is where my son just sits and eats and watches TV. Then right here we have this little light. I found this at Home Goods a very long time ago when we were still at our old house. And it lights up like that. I think it's so cute. But this light is sitting on top of this little flowers A to Z book, which I found at Home Goods. And so underneath that little table, we have this little magazine. Um, case I think I found this at Goodwill I want to say and it's like made from all of that like recycled newspaper and then I just keep a ton of like our home magazines right in here and then moving along we have this um, two couch set and this came from Value City some pillows on here I think both of the flower pillows came from Old Time Pottery Barn and then this plain pillow I believe came from at home. The flower blanket came from Home Goods. And then I forgot to mention where all these pillows came from. The majority of them came from at home. I think all of them except for this hello one, which I found at Home Goods. And then this one and this brown one was a set. Um, so it came with the couch. And then once again, back to the ledge, I have a bunch of wedding stuff going on here. So this uh, really pretty rustic frame I found at Kirkland's. And then there is one of the pictures of Matt and I from our wedding. Here is a basket. Uh, it's got our little initials right down there. And I found the basket uh, from Etsy. So my sister is the one that caught the bouquet, which was not intentional, even though everyone from the wedding thinks it was. She is only 19, so I definitely was not aiming for her. Yeah, so this is the bouquet that we tossed. And then right over here I have this, I don't know what it would be considered, but I love it. We got this as a gift at our bridal shower. Um, it's like a little monogram sign. Right above that I have this love makes the world go round family makes the ride worthwhile and how true is that this I purchased at American sale um, and it's kind of like a pool store but they have some cute home decor 
there as well. And then right on this side, I have another photo from our wedding. And then that is inside of a photo frame that we received at our engagement party. And then over here, I have a huge collection of like glittery branches and the vase I found at Home Goods. And then all of these branches, I think a lot of them came from Hobby Lobby, I want to say. But right down here, I have a little S uh, for our last name, and I found it at Kirkland's. All right, and then moving down here. So right over here, I have this larger styled tricycle. I purchased this at Menards, and I spray painted it um, white to give it like a little vintage look. Uh, and I originally had this out like more on display last year but this year I just didn't know where to put it so I stuck it right in this little area and I think it looks pretty cute here but I have a huge bouquet of flowers and this I made um it doesn't look as cute as it did last year because it's kind of gotten neglected um definitely needs some sprucing up but all I did for this was purchase a half cylinder like foam ball from Michaels and then I bought a large variety of flowers. I took the stems from the flowers and then I just poked all of those flowers into that foam ball. Right over here I have um, another one of those end folding tables and then I have a little wicker basket full of a bunch of books. This one is arts and crafts for my son. I think this one is like another one. This is something that my husband and I wish we would have done because I did purchase it like way before the wedding but uh, we never got to do it. It is the bride and groom challenge and I mean we still can definitely do it. We definitely want to still do it because there are a lot of fun little questions in there to see who knows each other best. And then right here I have the Accidental Entrepreneur book. I've mentioned before that I would love to start my own business at some point in my life so um, definitely keep this just for reference. And then right back here I have two Canon Rebel T3i like how-to books. I have a glass um, duo photo frame and then behind that I have another thing of faux flowers sitting in this galvanized can that I believe I found at Target. All of the flowers were purchased like separately, but I'm sure most of them came from Michaels. And then that is sitting on another two books. Who knew? 10,001 Easy Solutions. And then I have this little flower glass um, decoration. I received this from my aunt for our housewarming gift. And then I also have this pregnancy journal. I am not pregnant yet, but I hope to be eventually or pretty soon so i purchased that from target a little bit ago definitely want to keep a pregnancy journal this time around since i didn't with my son and i really wish i would have in this corner i have a like floor lamp and that was part of that walmart set this one is on a timer it comes on at seven o'clock at night and so just gets this room looking really cozy at that time and then another huge collection of pillows the majority of the pillows again came from at home um, except for this one and this one they are the same pillow just reversible sides and i found both of those at meyer here is one of those Kmart blankets that I mentioned in a recent haul. Super soft and cozy. And then right on top of that couch is this wall art and I found this at um, Goodwill. And this is still one of my favorite Goodwill finds, if not my most favorite Goodwill find. I am so obsessed and in love with this photo. I was originally thinking that I would only put this out for fall, but it is just too gorgeous to put away, I think. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I'm just obsessed with it. I love how beautiful and cozy it looks inside of there. The colors are amazing. The frame is like perfect. I think it was only $3, so definitely a good score at Goodwill. If you don't go there often, I definitely recommend going. You can find some really awesome treasures there. And then right in this corner of the room, I have this really pretty rose gold glass table and I found this at Target during their like after Christmas sale. I got a really, really good deal on it. And yeah, I just love this one. I have this little annuals flower book, which um, my best friend's mom got me for the bridal shower. And then I have some more faux flowers on top of that, um, both in galvanized jars. I think this one I purchased from the dollar store. And then this galvanized jar or can, um, I purchased from Michaels. The flowers are like a wide collection of different 
bouquets or sets. And then underneath that I have this wired bird cage and I found the bird cage at I believe Home Goods. I'm almost positive I found it at Home Goods. But inside of there I have a ton of our wedding stuff and I am planning on doing a like how I am reusing my wedding decor video so I will go a lot more into detail with that and a few other things. Um, I'm really excited to do that. I just have to finish up a few projects and I will be filming that shortly. All right, and then I'm stepping back for a minute so you can see like the overview of the fireplace and the mantel. But on the side of that rose gold mirror table, I have this um, little shadow box, I guess it could be called. This was gifted to me by my mom and she found this on Etsy. And then we have all of our wine corks and beer caps or the majority of them from the day of our wedding. And then here is one of the candles that I purchased from Home Goods. I was going on about this thing in one of my hauls and yeah, there it is lit up. I think it is super gorgeous. All the detailing is amazing. I am going to try to recreate this and make one to fit like a Bath and Body Works candle. So of course I will be filming that. So here you can kind of see all of the detailing and I am obsessed. And then on this side of the fireplace, we have two of these like large candle um, holders, the pillar candle holders, and both of them I bought from Home Goods or TJ Maxx. And then I have two uh, pillar candles inside of there. These were the first two candles and um, candle jars that began my obsession for pillar candles. So those are the original two and yeah, I just love the look that they give off. There's such a warm, beautiful, cozy glow to them. And then right in front of there, I have this uh, little photo frame that I found at Meyer. Okay, and then on the mantle, I have a ton of stuff going on. I love decorating this part of this room um, just because there is a lot of space, the like wood, that all of this stuff sits on. It has a lot of space from like here to the wall and then it is really, really long. So I'm able to have a lot of room to work with. But we will start from this side. I have yet some more faux flowers. These ones are sitting in a used wine bottle glass. Um, so I love that this one like gives them some height. And then right below those, I have this little faux orchid and I purchased this from at home. And then I have a little um, white rose that I took the stem off just to add a little cute touch right there. So these are our initials. Um, right now I have them spelling out DAM for Deanna, Aiden, and Matt. But those three uh, wooden letters I purchased from Michaels and they are sitting in front of this larger wooden letter, um, an S for our last name. And this I found at Home Goods. I love the dimension that this letter has. As you can see, some parts like sick out further than others. And of course, I love the rustic appeal to this letter. And then I have this little, I don't know what these things are called. I know there's a name for them. Um, but I found this at Home Goods. I have these little candle holders. They are holding my Bath and Body Works candles. They were purchased from Home Goods. I, of course, love the bling that surrounds the top of them. And then right here, I have this adorable little like log cabin. I found this at Home Goods and I featured this in a haul. I'm sure a lot of this stuff is looking real familiar because I am always doing hauls whenever I purchase anything. And then I have some flowers inside of there. The flowers I purchased from Michaels. I think that they are like the perfect size for this little log cabin. On top of there, I have this Hello Sunshine, which I found at Joanne Fabrics. It's sad as I am to see this like bright and cheerful summer stuff get packed away, I am equally excited to get the autumn stuff out. Moving on to this side, I have another one of those like plucked faux white roses, a wooden anchor that I purchased from Target, which was in a haul. I love, love this thing. Every time I look at it, it symbolizes family. So I am just obsessed with this. Here I have this little like lantern trio set. Um, I was given this at my bridal shower and this came from Pier One. And then on this side, I have another faux white rose back here. 
a little Oleg Cassini crystal turtle. He's adorable. And then a little um, succulent, faux succulent. It's in like a rose gold little canister. I purchased this at Target. And then right behind all of that, I have this Himalayan salt rock lamp. This one is the biggest one that we have. And I found that at Home Goods. I love these things. I think that they are just really cozy. That's another thing about all of my tours. Um, if you haven't noticed, I use a ton of white or clear um, Christmas lights. And that is just really how I achieve like the coziness that a lot of you guys mention. Um, just those soft white lights. And so yeah, once it's like Christmas, I change a lot of the white or clear lights out for um, the multicolored ones. During every other part of the year, like throughout all the seasons, I always have white lights, white or clear Christmas lights. And yeah, I can't imagine our house without them. Plus when these um, little strings of Christmas lights burn out, they're so easy to replace. They're very inexpensive. Just an inexpensive and easy way to give some cozy light to a space. All right, and so getting back on track with the tour, sorry I get sidetracked a lot. I have more of our like home magazines in there. Then on this side of the room, this is our final side, um, we have our TV hanging up right here. And then I have this little entertainment center. This was purchased from Target.com. I have this really pretty multicolored, like iridescent butterfly, and I found this at, at home. I have a Scentsy wax warmer with my son's adorable little face right in there. And then I have a little canister of faux flowers that I purchased from at home. I have this candle holder from Target and inside of there is a Bath & Body Works candle. On the side of that I have these little personalized coasters and then um, another one of those Walmart set lights. And then inside of here I have this large uh, photo box and then I keep my son's school stuff in here um, You will see this in a haul video very soon that will be going up on my channel and then I have a Wicker basket full of like workout DVDs Unfortunately, these do not get used as much as they should and then inside of here I have all of my son's like kids DVDs. He is building up quite the selection though so we're going to have to figure out another place to store these, but for now they get tucked away inside of there. On the side of here I have this little um, wooden crate. I found this at Home Goods, and then inside of here I have two pretty thick um, blankets stuffed inside of there, rolled up inside, and this was actually suggested to me by a subscriber of mine, and I think that it looks super cute. So thank you for suggesting that. I wouldn't have thought of that on my own, but I love how cute it looks. Then on the side of here, we have our laundry room. And I am going to be doing a laundry room tour, an organization video. Um, here is this really pretty rose gold wreath that I purchased from um, Home Goods um, right around this time last year. It was like part of their autumn or fall collection, but I have kept it out all year because I think it is adorable. In between um, the laundry room, we have this little wall and then here's our bathroom. But on this wall I have a little like wicker baker's rack and I purchased this from Goodwill when we first began renting our previous house. This used to be in our kitchen um, at that old house but down here I think it looks really cute because we have a lot of like wicker woodsy stuff down here and then this is another like favorite part of mine to decorate each season just because i have a lot of room to work with but on this top shelf i have this little like bird's nest i think this is so cute i got this um from michael's and i believe this was in a haul and then that is sitting in front of this little bistro plate i found the plate at home goods i believe and then here is another galvanized jar that has some faux flowers in it the galvanized can or jar whatever um, came from michael's as well as the flowers it's a really tiny set of flowers came from my aunt's 50th birthday as a party favor and then i have this really tiny little um teacup and I found this at Goodwill and then I have this really beautiful little teapot I found this at Amazon.com and then one of 
the champagne flutes from my bridal shower slash bachelorette party and I purchased this from um, Etsy as a set. Moving on to the second shelf down, not as much stuff going on, um, but I have two canvases that I purchased and created at walgreens.com. So I have this one of myself, Matt, and Aiden when he was just a little baby. And then I have this one of Aiden when he was very tiny. And then I have this faux little panel sign. This was purchased from Target's Dollar Spot. I have two little heart-shaped rocks that my son and mother-in-law picked out for me. Um, they say live, laugh, love. A little angel that I believe my mom gave me. Yeah, definitely my mom. And then I have this really cute little mason jar candle. And as you can see, um, it is a Christmas candle. I'm not really sure why I have that label facing out. It's way too cute to put away, but we will turn that and now it doesn't look like a Christmas candle anymore. <laughs> Going down here, I have a glittery vase that I purchased or found at Home Goods, and then a really cute little flower photo frame that I purchased at uh, Goodwill, and then inside of there is my son standing behind some of our Cosmos that we grew that year. I have a family frame of the three of us here, um, my cousin gave this to me for one of our Christmases and then I have some more faux flowers These last two shelves have more photo boxes. I believe this is like my husband's stuff right in there And then in here we have like all of my husband's and I's like dates that we've gone on um, like the programs and Movie tickets letters that we've written each other just like a little memory box of our relationship right in here And then in this one, I think it's all of my son's stuff yeah, and yeah, as you can tell, that is another thing that I use quite often are these really pretty decorative photo storage boxes. I think that you can just put a lot of clutter and a lot of stuff inside of them and no one would ever know how much stuff you have because I think they look really cute. Christmas lights, white Christmas lights, and photo storage boxes are my thing. And then this last corner of the room. Um, this is our bathroom. This is a wreath that I found at Michael's. But there's our bathroom. If you would like um, our bathroom tours, let me know. I'm not sure if that's like a thing that people are interested in because every bathroom is pretty standard. But I will do that if you are interested in seeing how we decorate our bathroom and um, what it looks like inside of there just let me know but then on this side is our like um crawl space and then this used to be our coat closet but we kind of changed it to a storage closet we have all of our games up here and then here are my son's games down here and then here are all of my photo albums that used to be out and looking really like cluttered um right here so i put them all away they're easy to access but they're hidden and they don't look as like crazy and chaotic. Here you can see like where the coat rack shelf was. My husband installed these shelves, which is on my channel somewhere. I'm not sure. I think it was like an organized with me video that I did, but we are planning on bringing these shelves out as far as they can go because we still have quite a bit of room um, just to create that extra storage. We just have not done that yet. But right down here, we have my dress. I know how crazy that looks it's all like folded up but I have paid for like the preservation of this dress so I'm not too worried about getting it like wrinkled because they'll take all of that out once I get that service done here is the crawl space right through there and then the folded and uncared for wedding dress is sitting on top of these two bins where we keep our slippers and then like some I think these are jackets, yeah. I am hoping that once the winter comes, we won't be like completely regretting getting rid of this as a coat closet. It's just that we didn't use it often at all um, during winter last year, just because we have that like pretty decent sized coat hanger in our dining room. Um, and we are planning on putting something in our laundry room for our remaining coats. Uh, but yeah, this didn't get used often. And so now it serves a better purpose, we think at least. But here is our upstairs going into our kitchen living room area. Um, not much has changed with this, uh, although a lot will be changing soon with autumn coming. And of course I will be 
showing those changes on my channel. Here is that wall and that tree um, that I featured in, I think my spring home tour. Um, but not much has changed on this wall. All that we have up here are some little floating shelves, which I am going to be changing out very soon. We did purchase some new wooden floating shelves from Target, and I do talk about those in a haul, so stay tuned for that. Um, but on those shelves, I just have some faux flowers, of course, some photo frames, and then on this ledge right here, we have some more faux flowers. And here are some more little lights that give off a nice little glow to this space. And then I have a bunch of hanging crystals on that tree up here. Um, and then here are some more white cleared Christmas lights um, just on this little banister area. And soon all of these lights will be orange for Halloween and autumn. Um, but yeah, I will go into more detail with this space once I change this stuff out. But this is all the same as my spring tour. And then down here is the man cave. Um, and then we have some little 8x10s right on this little wall and then a canvas that, that I purchased from Ross. It is like a matching canvas to the Golden Gate Bridge canvas that we have in our living room. And then these are our stairs going down to the man cave. Matt had to do some work underneath the stairs so he had to rip out our like original stairs that we had when we bought the house and he put in new stairs. We needed drain tile right underneath this because we were getting some water down here. So. There's some stuff going on in the man cave, which is why I have yet to do a man cave tour, but I definitely have not forgotten about that. I will be doing that as soon as we get like some stuff organized down there and situated and a little bit more cozy because right now it's kind of a construction area and that's why we do not have any drywall down here. But we are hoping to get that back soon. Matt just needs to find some time. So that about does it for this home tour. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please make sure to subscribe. Also make sure to check the bottom description for all of my upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care.